Okie dokie, so today I'm showing you guys how I do my fluff off stuff topples, which is basically something that's super simple and easy to throw together, put it in the freezer, and give it to your dog so they leave it alone. I'm gonna start with the small topple. So usually you can plug up this hole with something. These are chicken hearts. Um, you can use other treats that will kind of fit in here if you don't want any of the filling to ooze or seep out. I have been doing like a treat like this. This is dehydrated esophagus, but I'm gonna use um, pizzle today, which is penis. Um, so I put it in here like this, which I did not make these, I bought these. These are store-bought pet treats and it smells like ass, so fair warning. So I kind of place this here and then it blocks the hole, but I also don't overstuff it too much to where there's gonna be any issue. But um, for filling, I typically use either plain Greek yogurt, and then I have um, the homemade kefir that I was making. I kind of made cheese, like a cheesy sort of situation out of it for the dogs specifically. So there's no seasoning, sugar, flavor, anything. So for the small ones, I'm gonna use the cheese because I don't need a lot. So I'm using like a plastic silicone and plastic spatula here. Um, and I'm just gonna, this is how I typically place it in. So I kind of do a like spread and then I kind of poke it in. Oops. I poke it in a little bit just to make it more fun <laughs> when they're eating it. And if your dog or your cat or whatever has any um, problems with diarrhea when you use certain fillings, obviously adjust according to their needs. Um, and then what I do is I usually grab some sort of treat. This is freeze dried lung and I'm just gonna pop in a few of those. It gives them something to kind of search for. Uh, and it takes them a little bit longer. And then with that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up. And that's pretty much it. That's how we layer it. So depending on how sensitive your pets are, you'll wanna use like a lot less of anything in particular that I showed, or just not use like, cause some, some pets can't have like any of these dairy products. So like you could just use cooked or ground meat or something instead. But this, this is all I do. That's it. So one and done. And there's nothing oozing out the, the hole there. And that's it. So that's a small one. Now we have the large one. I'm using yogurt here, cause this is a larger. I'm gonna use the plain Greek yogurt. You do really well with larger amounts of, oh, so my dog drinking water in the background. Hey, Nolo. If I give them too much of the either kefir or the kefir cheese, they just shit up a storm. So this is kind of what I do here on the inside. So it's not technically like packed in and full. And then I grab some treats again. I'm just throwing them in there. This is usually what I do, like I make a layer and before when I wouldn't have something to like properly block, what would happen is when I would stuff the yogurt or whatever in here, it starts like oozing out. And then because I would do like a little mound, like I'm gonna show you. So I'm sealing this off using a little more yogurt, but then I'm gonna get the cheese too. Cause it freezes really well. So I do it like this. And then I grab the cheese. And I'm not making a mound because I'm not trying to make this look cute for any reason. This is it, like we're done here. But what I would do before is I would like fluff up the yogurt and make like a little mound at the top here so I can put some more like treats at the top and decorate it with whatever theme I was going for. And it would look really, really, really full and like, I don't know, like five cups of yogurt, but this is, this is it, this is all I do. And then I freeze it. 